Hello, my name is Chris Coopy, Senior Application Engineer for ABB in the Welding and Cutting Group. Today I'm going to discuss and show you how the ease of integrating a welding power supply to an ABB IRC5 controller. The first thing we need to do is have Robot Studio installed with the latest version open on your PC. Now we go to the Add-ins tab. Within the Add-ins tab, you will see under Robotware Add-ins different variants of the welding power supplies. For this demonstration, we will be utilizing the Lincoln Power Wave. Here, we want to make sure we have the latest version of software, which is 1.0.1. Once this is installed in the left column, under installed packages, you will see the Lincoln ArcLink XT. And this shows that it's been installed. If we right click on it, you will see documentations. And here we open the application manual for Lincoln ArcLink interface and weld editor. This is a quick shortcut on how you can always find the manual. Now that we have the Lincoln interfaced into the software into the controller the next step is to get the robot and the software communicating correctly we open installation manager we select our robot that we are working on which is this one here on through the service port Here we see all the products that are installed into this, this robot. Here you will see that we have the Lincoln with the latest version software. These are the license keys that are installed and operational with the robot. Next are all the options that have been purchased for the robot. Under the drive module, here is where we will make sure we have all the arc welding and the power supply correctly selected. Under the Lincoln, we have the Lincoln and we have the uh, smart tech selected. There's no changes, so we're just going to cancel out. If we had made changes, we would have to hit apply. Now we're going to connect to the robot controller. Going through the service port, now that we're connected through the service port, we go over to the add-in, click on the Lincoln add-in tab, and on the far right, we'll have a new window that shows us that the robot and the welder are connected together. Now we want to connect to the welder. Here we add in the IP address of the welder, which is 192.168.125.151. We hit connect, and now we are connected to the welder. What we need to do is verify that the weld set from the welder match what is in the robot controller. So we do a quick view, and these are the weld set that's in the welder. So we're going to show you how we're going to update those. You do a search on the weld modes. The right column is what's in the robot controller. So we're going to select all of those, clear them out. Then in the left column, we're going to do a search. We did 045 wire steel. We select all of those. And now we push them to the robot controller. Now we're going to do a search for the 035 wire, still with steel, and we'll do the search. We'll select all of those, and we'll push those to the robot controller. We say OK. We got a little circle, and now it says the new weld set is loaded into the weld, the robot controller. And at this point, we have full integration and it is now time to start programming welds. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you very much.